Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell, your friendly neighborhood chart nerd, and this is the Right Way Options morning market prep video for February 25th, 2020. Well, we had a, a very uncomfortable day yesterday with our big drop, but today is a different day. So how about we settle in, let's uh, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have an interesting situation. Um, last night, right after the market closed, we had the uh, futures market really starting to push up. We were up um, over 220 points in the overnight session. But then as the day progressed, or the night progressed, I should say, um, we gave it all back so futures have kind of been all over the map this morning now with some earnings reports coming out this morning we're starting to perk back up and even though markets around the world are still very bearish the uh, uh, u.s markets are trying to put on a happy face this morning and look for a rally so as you can see this morning, um, we have Dow futures now pointing to an open this morning, gapping up about 100, oh, 100 points or so, trying to move back up on some positive earnings reports. Now keep in mind that as we uh, rally back, we've got some issues to deal with here in the chart. We have a significant level of price resistance, as you can see here. Let me just draw a line like this right across here. So a pretty significant level of resistance in the Dow. So as we push back up, that's where we tried yesterday to recover and ended up finding a failure. Today, that might be different. We might find those bulls moving on through. Now, there's a few things to consider here this morning. First off, could ha have yesterday been an overreaction uh, to uh, the uncertainty of this virus? The answer to that, yes. It could also, um, signify that we have some really uh, volatile times ahead of us. So kind of keep in mind that as we rally back, any rally back could set up that next opportunity for sellers to come in. So you want to be really, really careful not to assume that this is just over. And one thing that we can be pretty assured of is the price action today is likely going to be very quick. It could have very fast news driven reversals and whipsaws. So traders should be very, very careful. It's easy to get caught up. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss out here on some great bargains because of the push back and rush back in only to find that we pop up in the morning and turn right back around. Remember, we still have um, a lot of uncertainty out there and this virus situation is not going away soon. So um, any news event, anything could move us back down. So be really, really careful how you decide to enter this market or if you decide to enter this market. I can tell you for me, after... 30 years of experience in the market, I'm going to be very, very cautious about entering anything. As a matter of fact, there may not be a single trade today by me. I'm going to let this volatility spill out a little bit and uh, be really careful. I kind of like my money and I want to hold on to it. And this volatility could create some really difficult uh, trading um, situations and um, put you in, in in an emotionally compromised situation as it whips and swings around. So be really, really careful today. One of our primary um, uh, goals as a uh, trader is to make sure and hold on to our capital, not to lose money. So be really, really careful as we continue to whip around and watch out for this really um, the possibility for very violent price swings as the day goes on. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY um, held up considerably better than the Dow did yesterday. So um, I had marked out this low in here as resistance for the Dow, but let's keep in mind that um, 
we did finish on the lower side of that yesterday and we still have price resistance right through here in the chart so let's keep that in mind as we as we focus on where this market goes now right now um, futures are trying to push this a little bit higher this morning we had good earnings on some companies today and that is inspiring those bulls but keep in mind that may be short or could be short-lived depending on how the news of the virus continues to um, create those impacts we saw massive selling yesterday in oil prices that's likely going to continue and continue to weigh on the market we also saw big selling in um, healthcare in the healthcare area and insurance area as the bernie sanders um, candidacy uh, begins to gain traction he is he is a major enemy of the health system and um, we saw some major selling there so we still have all of these pressures um, around and I don't expect them to go away easily so just watch carefully and be wise about how you enter this market let's take a look at the queues now the queues held up the strongest and it has been the strongest but about two and a half well, I can't, re can't remember what the exact number was. $250 billion or something was wiped off the map yesterday in tech gains. Um, we're trying to pop back up here a little bit this morning, but let's notice we're popping right back up into this price resistance area. And, um, well... Uh, we have to respect price resistance in the chart and realize that this selling may not be done just yet um, that there could be more downside and let's kind of take a cue from markets around the world the European markets are still bearish across the board putting pressures on those so although we had some positive earnings this morning giving us that little bit of, of levity um, all of these um, major issues and um, impacts from the virus are still yet to come. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at IWM. I was actually kind of surprised yesterday, IWM um, in its move. I think we've got a bad tick here in this chart. But I was really kind of surprised at IWM yesterday, um, how strongly it held up. And as you can see, um, we're looking for a little bit of gap up here. We broke this level of support. And by the way, this support level runs all the way back over here in the chart, as you can see across here. So we broke that support and now we're trying to rally back up. We may come back up and test that as a, um, uh, as a resistance level in the chart you can see we're bouncing up into this area right here um, and one thing that's kind of interesting here is we still have that potential of that higher low so we'll have to watch this pretty closely if um, those bulls find that inspiration can, and can push us higher watch that price resistance but if those bears come back around uh, we want to make sure and realize that we could easily sink into this level here so watch that close let's take a look at the vid the old VIX yesterday, wow, um, big popping move, uh, powered up hard here. And I've been talking about this pattern for some time and that possibility. And you can see we did make it all the way up here into that 25 handle yesterday, which I had pointed out as the possibility. Now, keep in mind that any rest or pullback just sets us up for the opportunity of potentially more move in that uh, volatility. And we've seen Seen just right back here in January of last year where we moved all the way up in here into that 36 37 handle so we may not be done yet in this move now we have a big open gap here in this chart and one of the things we are going to have to watch for is if we find any pullback in here that finds a support in any place find support off of that low um, anything in here find support off of this area and um, it it starts to perk back up watch carefully because we could really see a big selling wave come in if that were the case so watch that carefully one thing I would draw your attention to um, if we take a look at the diamonds um, here on the daily notice this is a big failure of the 50-day moving average and what that can mean is any rally back could set up that potential failure down to the 200-day moving average so keep that in mind we may not be finished with this volatility or this downside move 
Um, we might be finished, but we may not be finished. So we have to stay focused on that price action and not just run blindly into uh, this market this morning. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now that certainly um, saw some major selling. We had an ugly, ugly sell off here yesterday and that pushed us down here into that bullish reversal zone. So that gives us a little bit of hope and help to say that we, we got oversold in the very short term and perhaps a bounce back up is due the market. So let's watch that close. We could push back up here uh, today just based on the fact that we oversold very strongly. But just keep in mind that the any rally back can create um, short selling opportunities for more downside move. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a couple things that could move us around. We'll want to keep an eye on. Um, today we have the S&P Core Logic that comes out here at 9 o'clock. Probably not going to be um, a big market mover. We're going to be more focused on virus and earnings events and things like that this morning. Keep in mind we have a Fed speaker here at 945. And then probably the bigger number today here at 10 o'clock. Um, a.m. Eastern is the consumer confidence and it'll be interesting to see whether or not consumer confidence is starting to be affected by um, concerns of the virus we'll have to watch wait and see but keep a close eye on that and then um, we have another fed speaker here at 3 p.m today so a few things to be keeping an eye on on the earnings front we have a big day of earnings we have um, over 200 companies reporting or nearly 200 companies reporting earnings and a lot of movement has already occurred because of that we had home depot reporting early this morning Morning. and Home Depot beat on its earnings and you can see Home Depot closed down here yesterday and right now it's indicated to open right in here so a big pop up this morning here on Home Depot um, on that positive earnings report we have a lot of companies reporting today that we'll want to keep an eye on um, SPCE this one might be interesting um, SPCE um, is reporting today and this is one of those that's been a highly speculated stock Virgin Galactic um, and had a very sharp move up and as you can see uh, whoops my drawing tools changed on me um, we have a slight gap up this morning on its earnings report so trying to move up here just slightly this morning we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, and just a ton of, of these kind of reports um, this morning that we'll want to keep an eye on looks like AMRN gapping a little bit higher this morning reporting AMT uh, American Tower no report there yet it's just kind of hanging out we have CZR this one um, Caesars Palace um, no report on that yet uh, today you can see really wide bid ass spreads um, it'll be interesting to see if this has an impact uh, from the virus if they report anything like that um, LL uh, lumber liquidators reporting this morning nice gap up this morning on LL as you can see indicated to open all the way up here in that pop up Macy's will be reporting today and they've reported a positive response here in the market so far uh, gapping up slightly this morning. Planet Fitness is um, reporting today. No report just yet, but you can see um, uh, wants to report. Uh, CRM Salesforce gapping up this morning on a nice report. Um, Opened yesterday down here, closed with a nice rally back and then gapping just a little bit higher this morning. Still below its resistance, but something we um, are getting some nice energy here in the market on. We have uh, Tup, Tupperware is going to be reporting. Looks like they're gapping down this morning. Um, WWW, um, Wolverine, uh, no report here yet. Just a really wide bid ass spread as looks like they're waiting for it. And Weight Watchers reporting today. Um, looks like we don't have a report on that just yet. So just a few of the companies reporting today. Um, lots of things going on that we'll want to keep an eye on in the market.
let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be um, notified every time I post one of these videos you know um, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any prediction it's not it's to avoid all the hype it's tr trying to avoid all the emotion to take a logical look at the market take a look at the price action of the charts and see what that really means for us as a trader how we want to approach the market for the day and if you guys find that to be helpful if you find that to be useful um, please uh, do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment it helps the channel to grow and I I want to say thank you so much to everyone who who does do that um it it really is humbling some of the wonderful comments that uh, you guys post out there so thank you so much for that you guys are awesome so with that let's take a look at a few stocks now one of the things i want to make mention of uh, any stock that i i show um, in these videos is is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it is just simply a um well, it's it's simply part of the education and things that I do. And some of these charts are looking good and setting up. And um, you might want to put them on your watch list, evaluate them for your own personal portfolio, make sure they fit you uh, completely. And just understand that I can't recommend any stocks to you at all. I know nothing about you, your portfolio, your experience. And um, these are just stocks that I think are still of interest and um, we might want to keep an eye on one of those would be home home had a big big pullback yesterday but notice home is just pulling back into its trend and pulling back into this support this had that big ugly reaction yesterday to this move but i still think it's worthy of keeping an eye on if this can settle in here rest maybe a little bit and then start back up there may be an opportunity if the market is going to start turning bullish again remember we've broken this downtrend we still have an open gap here to potentially fill up above so there's still opportunity uh, maybe here in home to keep an eye on now shake shack shake shack um, was going to be um, you know we you know we've been watching this and watching this and watching this and the reason i'm bringing this up this morning is this is one of those examples shake shack's indicated open down here this morning this is one of those reasons we want to avoid earnings reports earnings reports it is there's there's so much stuff out there particularly in the option industry so much stuff out there that just promote the gambling around earnings events guys very very dangerous to do that gambling around earnings i mean you may, you may as well go to vegas because if you're at Vegas, at least putting money on red and black, they're going to keep bringing you drinks to dull the pain as you watch your money go away. Be really careful. You can have a beautiful chart pattern, a beautiful setup, gamble around those earnings and lose big. So be careful with that. And even though this was a great chart, it's now got to drop off of the list until this starts to show some improvement. Shake Shack definitely disappointed um, uh, investors yesterday afternoon. So keep that in mind. Places that you can look, however, um, that are still showing some relative strength. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Now, Coca-Cola bounced out of this um, box pattern this is a pop out of the box down so what we want to do here is watch this carefully you can see we're getting a little bit of a re rebound back this morning if that bounces back up in here and fails that could set up as a short trade um, if it can recover back up in here and hold then there may still be some upside in that chart so we'll want to watch that closely um, this could go either direction right now it's certainly showing signs of bearishness but we'll want to keep a close eye on that chart um, and, and a lot of charts are going to be like that right now but with these big moves it's going to be very very difficult to determine uh, which way they go from here um, take a look at OSTK this one kind of surprised me yesterday um, even with all of the nastiness in the market, OSTK found some energy to move higher and popped up yesterday nicely. So 
popped up, tried to break through that resistance, was unable to hold that through the end of the day. So let's watch this in here. If OSTK can push on through that level, there may be some opportunity here in that stock if it can get through. Um, if it finds resistance here, once again, we could uh, find this to be a failure if it can't push through that resistance. Um, other places that we may want to watch, um, um, gold, silver, um, um, bonds. Uh, take a look at uh, TLT. TLT, very, very strong. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback. If the fears of the virus continue to grow, any rest, consolidation, or pullback in here of TLT could set up an opportunity for, for more upside. So watch that carefully. Certainly TLT rising in a very, very strong trend um, as fears continue to grow. Silver, um, silver is a place that you could look for a little bit of potential safety. It gapped up hard yesterday, pulled back by the end of the day, but let's note there's some price support right here in this chart. And if we uh, continue to hold in that area, there may be an opportunity in here for more upside to come in silver. How about gold? Uh, gold very, very strong yesterday. Even though we saw some selling, some pulling back yesterday, Day, uh, we got overextended in this chart. Keep in mind, we are in a very strong upward trend here in gold. Any pullback in this chart could set up that opportunity, um, resting, consolidating for more upside potential. Let's keep an eye on charts like that. Um, we saw stocks like Procter and Gamble that it broke out yesterday, the day before yesterday, broke out completely reversing yesterday. And I think we're going to have to be um, understanding that we're going to see a lot of this over the next few days where we get those false readings. We may get a false reading down and a complete reversal back up. We may get a false reading up and get that complete reversal back down. So the reason I'm bringing that up is, is we need to be really, really careful how we enter the market over the next few days. If we enter it at all, there's going to be that possibility of big whipsaws, lots of false reads. And if you trade options, just keep in mind that option bid-ask spreads are going to be extremely wide. We're going to be paying an awful lot uh, for extrinsic value of those options. Um, because of the high implied volatility that we are experiencing in the market. So uh, for option traders, be extra careful as you look for trades and maybe price out potential positions. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you guys um, aren't subscribers, please click that subscribe button. Y'all have a great day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday. Good morning. Take care now.